Welcome back to The Breakfast Club. Today, for our person of interest, we've got a very, very special guest who's not just breaking records, but also rewriting the rules of storytelling. We're going to have you meet Abhijita Gupta. She's the youngest author in the world. And she started penning her tales before most of us could even spell the word publish. At just seven years old, this prodigious writer already earned her accolades from the International Book of Records. That's where she holds that record. And the Asia Book of Records. Her debut book is called Happiness All Around and it isn't just a collection of poems and stories, it's also just a vibrant splash of youthful imagination. It was created during the pandemic lockdown. Very interestingly, Abhijita is also the granddaughter of some famed names. We're going to tell you what they are. The poet duo Rashtra Kavi, Sri Methli Sharan Gupt and Sant Kavi Sri Siaram Sharan Gupt. In our Person of Interest segment today, we explore how she's turning the pages of her own incredible story. We had this conversation with her a few days ago. Take a look. So, Avijita, tell us about, tell us a little bit about the story of your first book. So, how did you decide I want to write this book? I know that you loved writing and you've loved writing since you were five. But how did you decide I want to write a book? And how did you decide, okay, this is what the book is going to look like, the structure, the entire plot. What was the process? I started writing when I was a little over five years old and then one random day, a question popped up in my head. And then I went up to my parents and said, can you please give me like a diary and a pen? So they said, whatever do you need a diary and a pen for? So I said that it's a secret, I'll tell you when I'm finished. So I went into my room and I started writing a story. It was about two elephants eating healthy food and inspiring other kids to also eat healthy. And then after I had written the story, I showed it to my parents and they were very surprised. And then I saw that how nice it felt mm. to write a story. And then from that day onwards, I loved writing stories. Mm. But still, I did not have this specific idea in mind that I was going to publish a book someday. But as the stories and poems kept piling over, I was watching a video one day and then a cartoon like said, Ki, hi, I'm publishing, a, I'm like publishing a book. And at that age, I did not know what publishing meant. Yeah. So I went to my parents and asked, Papa, Mama, what does publishing mean? So they said that publishing means when the poem or the stories that you are writing comes in pages in form of a book. So I was like, hey, Mama, can you please publish my book? And then they really liked the idea. We started looking for several publishers, but many of them declined due to my age. But then one finally, like, okay, we'll do it. And then I was on top of my world. And as for designing the cover page and all, I was a little creative. I had a creative side. I was good at drawing and stuff. So it was purely my imagination that I wanted a girl sitting on the moon and stuff like that. Tell us about the first book. So what was the idea behind it? And you've just told us how you designed the cover. But you also have to tell us a little bit about how you wrote it. So what was the thought behind it? What was the... Tell us a little bit more. I never write anything that comes to my mind. I like observe everything around me. Mm. I see... I write what I hear, see or feel. So continuously I was observing my surroundings and then whatever came to my mind I was like penning it down in form of a story or a poetry and then it took the shape of a book and now tell us you went to the publishers the ones that you did finally publish with and you said I want to publish this book you told us about what it takes to design a cover but what about all the other pieces putting that together it's pure it depends on the person hmm. see none of us have published a book so you have to tell us all you have to do is observe your surroundings and express yourself mm. just in the form of words mm. on a paper. Mm. That's all about writing books. Mm. I have never like, I did not really feel that okay, writing is very hard or something like that. It's just that something that you're passionate about, it comes to you naturally. So I was like, I did not do anything. It, sometimes there were days when I did not write. Sometimes there were days when I wrote well into the night. And then like at midnight I sat up, Mama, Papa, give me a paper, I have a thought. Love it. Okay, so I want to ask you, I read that actually you come from a family of different writers. And right from I think three generations of writers, right? Yes. So, kahin na kahin, will you say that there was writing in your family a little bit? It was something that your, not only your grandfather, you know, your grandmother, but it's a, a tradition of sorts almost? 
a not a tradition i would say but yeah writing lens runs in my blood and mm. I'm honored to carry out this prestigious legacy of ours mm. like having so many famous authors. Mm. So the best I can do to carry out this prestigious legacy of ours is to you know serve the people through any through books or any other means of job that I want to do in the future. So I want to ask you right now what are the genres that you've written about? Are you planning to expand and explore into other genres? Before we started this interview, you told me that you're a big fan of Harry Potter, for example. Are you looking to venture into the world of magic, all of that wizardry? What? Tell us a little bit. So until now, I have only written about fiction and non-fiction. But yeah, I do want to expand my genres, and I want to go into wizardry, magic, and mysteries. But they're not like specific thoughts coming to me right now. So but yeah I'm reading different books for motivation and for thoughts mm. but I do want to like write some books like Harry Potter because that was so interesting that I couldn't take out my like I couldn't take your eyes off the book yeah for like mm. not even a second I mm. finished like one book in a one day hmm. so okay, that is a that is a much faster reading rate than I think any of us can do but that so then that that also means that you read very quickly because we haven't talked about that yet you do love reading and I assume from the love of reading is where maybe the love of writing came from yeah I is like that correct to say yeah that is correct to say because I love reading at a very tender age I like I read books I'm now I'm reading like Ruskin Bond, Harry Potter and stuff like that. But yeah, I like reading a lot. So like I thoughts started piling up to me mm. from the like books. So then yeah, I liked reading, writing, reading, then I understood, oh, so these authors write these books for me to read. Mm. And then I like them so much. So why not write one myself? Mm. Then I started writing and But I have to ask you because you said you write sometimes at midnight also. And you know sometimes when we we sometimes in the show we interview other young people who are doing a lot. And kabhi kabhi when we're talking to them it feels like genius se baat kar rahe. You know jo sab kuch janta hai. So I want to ask you pure din do you write? Is that what happens because you go to school too, right? You're doing five other things at the same time. So when do you take out the time to write? is writing the one thing you love doing what else do you do tell me like it's all about balancing your school your education and then your passion hobbies mm. it's not that i write all the time and it's not that i study all the time i have a special allotted time for everything i also watch tv mm. i also sometimes watch mobile like and you take i don't out. yeah mm. but i don't have to take out time for writing because mm. something that you're passionate about you don't have to take time out for it anything at all it comes naturally yeah mm. like even if i'm middle of a like studying and a thought occurs to me and i knew that i first i have to focus on my studies i write it on a pen and i write it on a paper and then after i uh, like completed my studies i just sit and then frame that thought into a book or a poetry or whatever properly and only yeah. then do you go ahead yeah so i do want to ask you because you've had many of your books it's I want to tell our audiences because they may not know that your books are also in circulation already. People can go out, they can find a copy. So I just want to ask you what have people said to you about the books that you've written? Have you gotten feedback from family, from friends? What do they have to say? Is there something you want to work on within the way that you write? Well, both people like said both. They said negative things and they said positive things. Mm. Well, well some people say that oh she is so young, she will not be able to write books or anything like that. and i i'm sure that her parents are writing or something like that while well, some people actually appreciated me and congratulated me on how well i'm doing but yeah of course i knew that every journey came with its own hurdles and this journey was no such exception so together with the help of my family and friends i overcame this hurdle to prove to the audience that okay i'm writing this book on my own nobody is helping me but what's your challenge that's what i'm asking now with the next book that you're writing right now what's the thing you're trying to do differently i want to make my book a little more interesting and mm. i want to make it like a horror comedy at the same time mystery and magic all that stuff like all the genres combined into one book because that will make a great book mm. but currently i'm a little like i'm juggling between genres to see which one i could write the best hmm. like every author get a little stuck at times and i'm having my difficult time as well because i write i write wrote many things but and just tell us one last thing when you do get stuck what do you do 
I just rattle my brains and there you go, you have a thing. But like when I do get stuck and like there seems to be a no way out, I take a break, do something refreshing and then with a refreshed mind, I came, I come back, sit and calmly think about, okay, what I'm going to write and I review everything that I've written until now. And then after doing that, I have a whole new like perspective to see from. I must tell you, Abhijita, it is wild to speak to someone who's so calm, who's figured everything out, it seems like. I really hope your next book is also a success because I was reading there's so much that's been written about all your work so far. So congratulations on your journey so far and good luck. Thank you.